going on everybody so check this out my gaming rig has been running warm this mm, i love you so much but why are you running warm when i'm playing call of duty warzone at night it heats up down here and i'm in a uh, man cave golly i'm in a man cave come on now doesn't usually heat it up in a man cave. Everybody knows what a man cave is. Come on now. Don't act crazy. Don't act crazy. As you guys can currently hear, just listen to this thing. Oh my goodness. There's a problem going on with my game rig. And let me tell you, I do not want to jeopardize my... <laughs> hardware <laughs> because of the issue with the fans not working correctly <laughs> and a crazy thinking about it it's a really good fan that's just gone you know it's not these led fans that you see here these rbg fans no sir it is actually the case fans that came with this case and we're referring to this puppy right here you see that nzxt top of the line yes sir nz XT. This fan right here is running very, very slow. Ooh. There we go. Let's check that out. You see that fan at the bottom? That's another NZXT. And that sucker right there is super slow. It's supposed to basically pipe some air from underneath here and up through the case. And it actually keeps this, uh, video card here nice and clean well not nice and clean but you know nice and cool so i should not be able to stop this fan with a zip tie let's see what happens <laughs> what look at that no hands check me out that's dead let's see what's going on with this one nope we gotta use some force check these out yep we gotta use some force check this out one out Force. Okay, check out this rear. Gotta use force to check out the top. Can I get the top? Let's see. Oh my gosh! You gotta be kidding me! What? What? What the? What? 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 What the? No wonder this thing is running so goddamn on warm. Come on, man. Let's, let's look at this bad boy right here, too. Nope. Oh, she keeps going. Oh, she she almost ate that, too. Golly. And, you know, it went from, it bounced from here to that one. And then it almost went through. Woo. Goodness gracious, I tell you. A problem is, is our case fans are dead. They're dead. They're dead. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> Uh, we got fans here and here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely, I'm going to have to disconnect, uh, you know, my wires and stuff. And basically, we're just going to do a full cleanse. We're going to have to clean this bad boy up and we're going to have to replace the fans. So as you can see in my spare parts, I got this two uh, LED fans here. This is absolutely going to be fun. Every time I'm about to do something, do some type of repair or something, I get, you know, I get this bright idea like, oh, let me go do this. Then I'd be like, oh, my gosh, I got five minutes to pick up the kids from school. <laughs> I'll be back. Let me go pick up the kids from school. Hey, guys. So before we get into this video, I'm going to need to ask everyone to hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this video, please hit that subscribe button. In addition, if you found this video helpful please hit that like button if you did not find this video helpful please be sure to hit that dislike button i appreciate the feedback what we have here is my gaming rig as you can see it's pretty darn it's pretty darn dirty and to be honest typically when you start to see signs of you know dust build up outside the case there is dust build up inside the case dust build up is definitely going to hinder the cooling of your system 
So those fans, they're not going to be able to efficiently uh, work with all that dust build up. So it's highly, 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 highly important that you do a full system clean like this. This is major. That's a screen right there. That's just, <laughs> it's completely uh, filled with dust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this side of the case so we can open it up. I got a fan right here, which uh, I got to unloosen the wire from the other side. So I got to pull this side off too. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to first start to open up the case uh, as well as the front panel as well. And we'll go from there. So this is what I'm using, this Armorall Utility Vac. It's a wet and dry vac. This side is vacuum. And here is your actual blower. So we're gonna use this to blow the dust out and then vacuum. So this is one of the side panels. Dusty she is. Now the trick to cleaning the fans, honestly, is air. We can use vacuum for suction to, you know, visually clean up, but air is best. Now I know a lot of people is probably gonna panic and go crazy and say, you know, oh my gosh, you're probably creating a lot of, you know, ESD, which is electric static discharge which that is a possibility that you could be creating ESD. However, in my line of work, I'm an IT professional, did a lot of deployments, also did a lot of you know maintenance for governments as well as uh, businesses, computer builds, a lot of computer uh, just refreshments or even deployments of which some may have required that we do a full system clean. The rattle can, spray can, let me just tell you, when you run into a system, especially like a cashier machine that just sat on the desk for years and years, it's thick, thick, thick dust built up. You know, those little spray rattle cans, that's not going to get it. So you have to use something like a vacuum cleaner and blower to completely clean the computer system. I've done this a lot of, a lot of times for a lot of years. So I know what I'm doing. However, for you at home, please be careful if you're going to use a vacuum cleaner to clean out your system. As you can see, it's completely disconnected. Nothing is connected, okay? So the computer system is not receiving any type of electricity. And always when I am using vacuum cleaner, I have my hand on the actual case of the computer to ground myself. So as you can see, she is completely filthy. Again, the trick to get this dust that's in the crevices is air. This particular vacuum cleaner, it's going to uh, generate a lot of air to get all this dust out. So just remember all this dust buildup that you guys see here, here, here. Remember all of that. I'm doing this all prior to replacing the fans okay i want to be able to, to work efficiently with a nice clean system we also need to pop off the front panel sometimes you could just pull hold on guys there we go so see how filthy that is highly important that you need to clean the front fans too
still gonna be a bit dusty. Um, to really like, you know, make it beautiful, beautiful, uh, you basically need to take like a little small brush and just, you know, brush the fan off. But other than that, she's clean. She is clean. Again, you know, a little bit of surface dust. But to take care of the surface dust, you basically have to wipe it down. Probably get myself a paper towel or some toilet paper and wipe it down. I, I honestly would not use like microfiber because it has a tendency to uh, create ESD. I got this fan blowing. I usually always bring this fan out whenever I'm working outside to keep the mosquitoes off me. That's what I do. So this fan is perfect for that. Also, it provides power to ports, okay? Which follows off to our armor all two horsepower maximum again this is the wet and dry vacuum and blower so we got our little brush attachment kind of get a little bit fancy clean up items like that surface nice and clean I used to really keep my computers like super, super, super duper clean, like no dust at all. After a couple of years, I'm like, all right, you know what? Let's just keep it, uh, you know, clean for the system to function. <laughs> you know, cause it's not like I take my computer to shows, like check it out, check out that build. Yeah, you like that build? Yeah, she nice and clean. Yes, sir. Look how clean that is. I don't know if I showed you guys the after, but this is the after of the front. Nice and clean. That's the beauty of uh, using a blower. All right guys, so we're back in my home workspace. What we're gonna do is we're going to be removing a fan up here and a fan below here. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is if, because these are LED fans, so what I may end up doing is replacing these two fans with basically these two, and probably add a, uh, probably add this LED fan at the bottom. I think I may just do that. I think I may put that LED fan from here down there. So, go ahead and pop the front case. love how easy it is to remove this some other cases you have to basically pinch these down you gotta pinch them down and push it out pinch down push out but uh this one uh again this 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 case has been i bought it brand new but it's <laughs> after a couple of attempts of you know removing stuff it tends to become more easy for the top cover, it basically just lifts up like so. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, four screws. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, uh, loosen the screws and then I need to follow where the wires are for the fans and disconnect the fans and uh, pretty much go from there. Just want to make sure that the screws do not drop inside of the case because if it does then we got to go and try to chase it and be careful with the actual uh, fan screws case fan screws are notorious for being really 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 sharp and they will cut they will cut you quick we got all the screws removed for the top case fan so i'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom now what i want to do is slightly pull Okay, and just look to see how we're wired. Okay, so this is system fan. All right, so we got this bad boy here. I think I may just use this fan just because it's, it's gonna give me that cooling I need. I have my computer stand. It sits on two by fours. 
So since it sits on two by fours with this fan sitting at the bottom of the case, the room temperature air is going to be able to get sucked up underneath. This fan is going to generate, you know, more air flow and it's going to basically push cool air up underneath and throughout the system. The primary thing that this fan is cooling is our video card or graphics card. It's keeping this video card cool. Trust and believe me, it works. This case, it have vent holes. It has vent holes underneath, okay? So air is able to get through underneath. Now, say for instance, your case does not have vent holes underneath. If you do slap a fan up underneath there, the fan is basically not gonna, it's not gonna have any air come from outside. It's just gonna generate air itself. It may not be enough, but it's still worth it. Okay. So now we got that wiring. We can move this bad boy. So this one is the fan that's totally toast. Like this thing is just toast. Now install these fans. What we want to do with this particular fan, since it's the top case fans you want the air to vent out the side of the case so this flat surface here is going to be up against the actual frame of the case okay so basically what's going to happen is that air is going to flow outside in underneath up okay some air is going to flow out of the top of the case and some air is going to flow outside the case okay your air is going to vent from here, from the top, and from the rear. Inlet air is going to be from the front and bottom. Also, to just to add, guys, as I stated before, this flat side is where the air will vent out of. Well, some people may get also confused with this because it's also a flat side. So just go based off of, you know, the actual structure. Inlet, outlet. Air enters, air exits route this wire through the case first it's always best to route your wires first okay that wire is routed cool let's put our screws in match up the holes so after i got all my screws in then i'm gonna go ahead and connect my wire my power wire so we'll do the same thing with this we'll route our wire through Majority of the power for our fans is behind the case. This type of fan receives its power from the power supply, not the actual computer motherboard. It honestly feels like I got a brand new computer just based off the fact that this thing is clean. All right, guys, excuse the AC that's running in the background. We have our two top fans physically installed. Now all we need to do is connect them to power, and we are good. Before I do that, I'm gonna rock and roll and remove the bottom fan, case fan. Then I'm gonna secure it to the actual computer case. Then we'll look for power, so I'll be back. Case fans, this particular one has this type of connector. You will connect this to your motherboard. This case fan, you connect to your power supply, okay? Motherboard, power supply. Because air flows from underneath and through the case, we're going to have this side facing this. Again, this is the inlet, okay? So what we want is the air from outside the case and underneath the case to flow in and through, okay? Inlet, outlet. So with the outlet being, you know, 
towards the actual components, the hardware, it's basically going to cool whatever's in its reach. Spin the fan manually, just listen out. It's not touching the actual case, and it's freely spinning, so it's good. It may be hard to see, but this connector right here is where I'm going to connect that fan to. Again, this is the type of fan that you would connect to a motherboard connector, unless you have like a free connection like this that you can basically connect to. They're basically like expansions. I was kind of using this fan as an example, so I'm gonna connect it to our power, which is coming from the power supply. All right, so we'll go in the back of the case and do the same thing, and we're done. Connections to here, plug that up to that. All right, that's routed. Now we can put this bad boy on. Okay, it's nice and secure. So now, let's spin it back around. This side, uh, panel back on. Top on. Let's put the front panel back on. It's the thing I love about this case because it you can you can easily take stuff off and put stuff back on. And voila, she is now back together. So that's one way to keep a computer from overheating. One efficient way. Most efficient way is to change the dermal paste on your CPU, okay? And change the dermal paste on your video card. Those are also the most critical, efficient ways to keep your gaming rig from overheating and to be able to actually work what i may end up doing is I'll, I'll look through my archive to see if i actually have a video that i can include which will basically show you how to change the thermal paste on your cpu and i may see if i have one for also the gpu but again i'm not 100 percent sure if i have that in my archives of videos so far i've removed the power cables to our gpu what am i Disconnect our graphics card. So there's a clip inside here. Uh, pretty much the clip is right there. Um, and that tends to get in the way. So what I'm going to do is remove our graphics card. And this is the MSI R9 390. This is a eight gig graphics card. I'm also going to be taking my memory sticks. I need to get this need to get this heatsink also. The way to do that is these fans. They have these clips on the side. And you just pull them. Do the same thing for this one too. So this is the actual CPU fan. If that fan is not connected, the CPU 
will not boot past the BIOS. So you need to have a fan connected. All right, guys, so now you can see we can access these Phillips screws. There's two on each side. So what I'm going to do is slowly ah come on i forgot that this screwdriver is not the screwdriver that i usually use for this type of job because of the head so what i'm gonna do is remove this cpu heat tank not pull too hard oh it's doing a better job now Okay, so it did not pull the CPU because I did some twisting. And you can see that delicious thermal paste. And as you can see right now, we have our CPU. We're gonna clean off that thermal paste. All right, so now what we're gonna do is install our Arctic Silver 5. Measuring your Arctic Silver. Uh, five thermal paste or whatever type of uh, thermal paste you use. Compound card spreader, which you pretty much just use to spread it. So I just try to work my way from the middle and on up. So you can purchase your thermal paste from any computer store near you all computer sh stores should have it again too much thermal paste it's not gonna hurt however too little of thermal paste is definitely going to increase those temperatures and that's it we're gonna mount the heat sink uh and the fans to this motherboard All right guys, so now that we have our CPU heatsink mounted and installed, we're gonna go ahead and install our fan. So right now I'm going to begin on dismantling So let me see if I can find another screw bit that would work better for removing these screws So it looks pretty decent, nothing alarming, as well as the cart, just a bit dusty. Again, it's always best to just get yourself a, a computer kit, fan, connector here, let's see if I can just pull it, there we go. Alright, so this is our heat sink for our GPU and as you can see the dermal paste is on here common issue with gaming GPUs are that the thermal paste that it's shipped with is not that great experience issues with the card locking up the computer the blue screen and etc if you're going to clean out your computer you know just go all out go all out using my toilet paper. White. And I fold it again in white. And this time I'm just pretty much gonna wipe down everything. 
Arctic Silver 5, as well as our little, I call it a uh, Thermo Pace Spatula. I always start off in middle. So that's down. Now let's get this other side down. I'm going to look at our standoffs to see if I am lining them up properly. And I am. So I got everything situated now. I got our standoffs, they're matching their corresponding holes. We're gonna reinstall our screws to secure this GPU. We should have another one here. All right, so now and pop these bad boys on. So you could definitely reinstall these prior to you putting that back plate back on. And I like to do it across angle. All right, so I hear it, it's locked down, it's tight. Got a, a good amount of pressure. So now we're gonna start putting our back plate back on. We're good. Everything's looking Gucci. We now have our graphics card. Everything is set up. Nice and clean. Got some fresh Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste. So she is ready to fire up. So you guys can see we have our graphics card installed into the slot. We're going to take these screws and get her mounted to the frame. All right, so we're gonna take our power supply cables and we're gonna provide power to our graphics card. That's one. And this is the PCIe. Stop.